Hello everyone. What a lovely bird song, thank you. <laughs> I am back at the block today. It is the 2nd of April and um, I think I've missed all the nice weather. <laughs> so I did manage to get down here a couple of times over the Easter weekend. Uh, unfortunately, I was working on the nicest day we had which is a bit of a shame, but yeah. So I got down here twice and my mum also came to help and we did a bit of the greenhouse and the greenhouse area. So I did film a couple of time lapses, so I'll play those now and then I'll get back to you. So we started by taking everything out of the greenhouse to see what was underneath basically. <laughs> Um, and quickly realised there was a lot of mare's tail or horse tail in there too. So we were like, right, let's just tackle the front bit and come back to that later. So we started removing this big patch of nettles and the roots were like a carpet, basically. Um, it took all afternoon just to get through this one patch and remove these massive stumps. <laughs> We ended up having to basically chop this clump of nettles up because we, we just couldn't get it out of the ground. Um, so unfortunately there are like little pieces left in the ground which I'm going to have to just rake through and try and pick out as and when I can. But yeah, this thing, it was a monster. <laughs> but at least it's out now and this whole area is all clear. There also happened to be another piece of weed sheet literally buried underneath this. So I think... The um, weed sheet was put down and then just wood chips and bits and bobs were just on top and then things started growing. So we pulled the weed sheet out and then leveled this area out and I just went round, kept taking out little pieces of nettles and mare's tail and whatever else was lurking in the soil. Then we decided to put a pathway in and use up the stones that I found on the front of the plot. Um, that way some of the weed sheet gets used, the stones get used and there'll be like a nice walkway around the perimeter of the greenhouse. So we have in fact cleared this area which is exciting, it took quite a while. <laughs> Basically all the nettles have been dug out of this area and well I still need to go over it and give it a rake and make sure I can pick up, make sure I pick up all the little pieces left behind. Uh, but this area outside the greenhouse will be stones, all the stones that I found on the front of the plot, they're currently in those bags and what I'm going to do is wash them because they were quite dirty to be honest so i've just left a couple out in these um crates and i'm hoping that the rain will just gradually wash them <laughs> for me uh, then i'll put them down on the front of the greenhouse area so i'm going to get some of those um attachments for the greenhouse guttering so we can hook these these water butts up and also find some kind of lid for this um i might just have to do mesh because it's quite a big big water butt and i don't think there's anything on the plot that will fit this but for the smaller one the smaller one's going to go down this this area down there so i still got to work on getting those nettles out but there is some kind of lid for this one which is good. Then inside the greenhouse, I th what we started doing was raking basically the floor up and I think it's all going to have to be binned because unfortunately there's a lot of horse tails or mare's tails in here. I'm not too worried about them because if I just stay on top of, you know, picking and pulling them out, um, it'll be fine basically but i do think for this year i'm going to stick to only having one tomato bed down here and then covering the rest over 
just so no more try and well I'm sure they'll sprout out somehow but just to kind of slow their growth down because I can see quite a few up in that corner there and at the front of the plot over there that's where I first spotted them so yeah they are starting to sprout up everywhere but it's okay I'm not too worried about them but yeah like I said all of the flooring I think I'm gonna just scoop up and <laughs> Uh, bin just because I don't know how many pieces of horsetail or their spores and seeds they're probably everywhere in here which is a shame but it's fine we'll get through it I've also got a bit of greenhouse staging in those plastic bags which I'm probably going to um, put out now today and these arches are from my garden at home i've decided to put them on the plot instead they're a little bit rusty and not great but i'm going to make a pumpkin archway with those this year all the cardboard is going to go down i think i'm going to put it in this area here and then wood chip the top and then obviously stones as you come out of the greenhouse just to use them up and stuff but it started raining oh it's raining don't know how much i'm going to get done today but the bird songs they're so cute i love it so so much i don't mind when it's raining like this but if it starts like tipping it down i will have to give up and go home i think but i think what i'm gonna do is level out this pathway and pin the sheet down on the main path then build the archways put them up and maybe do a little bit of raking and cardboarding in this area we'll see we'll see how much i get done <laughs> a lot of the pathways are going to be cardboard and wood chip but because i've got these quite decent long pieces <laughs> of sheet weed sheet i'm just going to make one long pathway all the way down here to the end of this bed and then obviously this one which i've already partially pinned down and then yeah everywhere else is going to be cardboard and wood chip but i know the weeds are going to spring up no matter what i do but um yeah i'm just going to keep these couple of pieces this year and then we'll see we'll see how the first year goes isn't it see how <laughs> see how um weedy this actually gets these birds are going crazy today how lovely yeah let's just get on with it even though it is raining quite a bit now Oh, and in these buckets, I've got three, three of them. They are cuttings from my, what are they called? Marguerites, the giant tall daisies. Uh, I'm gonna make like a daisy border going across the front. So I've got loads and loads of cuttings in these buckets. My marguerites at home, they're just like exploding, growing out of everywhere. So I've just been pulling them up, stuck them in the buckets and yeah, we'll have like a nice, big daisy hedge at the front or daisy border that will um kind of hopefully close off the plot a little bit and i'm also thinking this little border here which we made over the weekend is going to be basically sunflowers um to make a bit of a screen between <laughs> this polytunnel here and um yeah here which will probably be my seating area but in all honesty, how much relaxing do people do on an allotment plot? Like, do people genuinely relax? <laughs> because I feel like I'm going to come here and just not actually relax. Just gonna, There's just going to be so many jobs to do that I won't sit down and relax, if you get me. Just like... <laughs> I just feel like it's always there's always going to be something to do but I will make a little seating area down here so that um if I do decide to relax I'll have some work all right so I'm going to level out this pathway down here and then pin the weed sheet um see what this bit's doing because that's going to be my second pumpkin bed uh build the archway hopefully secure it we shall see and depending on <laughs> what the weather's doing see what else we can do but let's get on with it
Okay, the rain is kind of stopping, I think. Um, what I'm gonna do is put an archway together now so that I can kind of judge how wide I want the path um, and then pin the sheet down and we'll see. Okay, it's starting to chuck it down now, so <laughs> I think I should give up. But anyway, okay, this looks ridiculous at the moment. But I've put the two arches up. The first, the front one is not completely done, but I've put it the height that it's supposed to be. It's so bloody tall. How am I, how the hell am I gonna reach that? I'm only five foot. That ain't happening. So I put the second one up minus like one, wrong <laughs> um and it's a bit it's a bit better because if i have to tie anything in how the hell am i gonna reach up there to get to tie like pumpkins and stuff in so i'm gonna have to um take one and a bit rungs out of this one and then yeah it is properly raining <laughs> raining now but I'm determined I'm going to get I'm gonna fix that second that the giant arch and um, stick them in the ground pin the weed sheet and then I'm gonna go home so I'm just gonna keep keep working in the rain doesn't matter does it <laughs> I've been waiting for the rain to stop. It's not gonna stop. It's forecast to keep going like throughout the evening now. So I think I'm gonna go home and come back tomorrow. Tomorrow looks okay in the morning. So maybe we'll do some more out here because I've put the arches up. You can barely see them, but um, I need to add some like canes to support the whole structure. And um, I don't have a, uh, cable ties with me so I can't do that today anyway uh, so the greenhouse I've done a little bit of a reshuffle well basically I've just put those shelves up I actually have somewhere to put my bag now and then I've got some sad sweet peas these were the first lot I sowed um, I think in February and yeah the slugs um, and snails have got them they've snapped and they're just in a terrible state but I've got some more at home which are in a much nicer state which i'll be planting in my garden these i'm just going to chuck on the archway um some foxgloves and some pansies which are also being decimated by the slugs see that's great cardboard area there um compost i mean most of the stuff in here is nettle roots and the mare's tail <laughs> great um and yeah, I'm just going to have to do like a really thorough rake and scoop up of all this. And I'm going to use these planks to make another raised bed instead of having them in here. You can barely see the archway on camera, but the archway is up. Obviously, it needs a lot of support. And then there'll be a second pumpkin bed along here. I have pinned most of the ground sheet down so it won't be blowing and flapping around and yeah we are getting there i feel like the allotment it's taking shape now we are taking shape <laughs> so i will see you tomorrow hopefully the weather is a bit better hello i'm back again today and it is so nice and warm in the sun but it's really really windy so i don't know if it's a good idea to continue with the pumpkin arch today or not it's still it's still standing I never know where to look. Where is it? Is it there? Or is it there? I don't know. It's somewhere over here. I can't see. <laughs> um, yeah, it's still standing at the moment. But I was going to plant out my sweet peas. But I'm a bit worried that they'll blow away. 
I think I'm just gonna go for it I think yeah tie on the bamboo canes add the mesh and make it a little bit sturdier and then I think the, the sweet peas will be fine it's actually quite gusty <laughs> my water butt has blown over my chair has blown away um let's just do it it'll be fine so i've got some pieces of bamboo to connect the two archways together and i'm going to reuse the netting that was left on the plot um just to cover it and have you know something for the pumpkins and sweet peas and whatever i want to grow on it to cling on to um, and I couldn't find my ta cable ties, so I've just got some twine and hopefully this will hold. is far from perfect but it's done <laughs> if i had cable ties it would have been so much quicker to stick the net on oh it's a bit droopy up there it's fine i'll do it another day um yeah and i don't have enough netting to cover this bit so we'll have to improvise when it comes to uh tying pumpkins in but it's it's done <laughs> Okay, I'm a little bit windswept, to say the least. <laughs> but I think I'm gonna take the pieces of um, decking board out of the greenhouse. And the uh, sun's coming out now, see, it's nice. And um, work on the second pumpkin bed just quickly, see what I can do and just make sure I've got some kind of layout ready so I can start visualize things a little bit more. But yeah, let's do that. Okay, there's a lot of ants and spiders and horse tails <laughs> and also I can see another piece of ground sheet so I think the middle bit had a piece of ground or weed sheet down and then all the wood chips on top. I think these pieces of wood will be perfect for this bed. Um, it might be a little bit wide. Don't know. Or maybe it'll be okay. But I think this bed will be the next one that I dig out because it'll probably be the easiest. <laughs> I say the easiest, but there's less nettles in this patch. That, on the other hand, is going to be awful. I've already given up with this patch, to be honest. <laughs> Look at all them. So yeah, I think that'll be the next bed to be made. And then obviously sorting out this area. Lots of stuff there. Yeah, I think that's gonna look really good. <laughs> I mean, it looks, it looks pretty crap at the moment, doesn't it? <laughs> 
<laughs> but it will be it'll be fine like once i've tidied the back area dug the rest of those weeds and stuff out i think it'll be fine it'll be fine <laughs> Thank you all so much for watching and subscribing hopefully i'll be able to get up here again this weekend and do something and have another video for you guys it's just a shame the weather has turned and i've missed the nice bits but yeah hopefully you all have a good week and weekend and i will see you again next week bye